Are you ready for a new operation? I was born ready, Bags. Do you require support? Haha, <laughs> good one, bruv. Ready for more police work? I was able to intercept a Clan Kelly laptop. It's full of Clan Kelly accounting data. Substantial amounts have been diverted to an unrelated account. Oh, sick! Someone's stealing from the Kellys! How do we find this thief? You may be right. I believe Bagley has a lead. Good luck. There's one other computer connected to the same network. It's at the old canal warehouse. You all right? I hear you're looking for dead sec. Wasn't sure you'd come knowing I'm part of the establishment. Or at least I was until Albion dismissed Parliament. I do want to say, what you've done in Westminster is remarkable. You've given the people hope. Look, I've never been big on politicians, but this shit is just fucking bollocks. I couldn't agree more. That's why I contacted you. Albion haven't simply shut down the government. They've sullied the Palace of Westminster, the Great Bell, with their propaganda. Do you understand what that looks like? If you really want to rekindle some of the people's fighting spirit, then restoring the clock tower would go a long way. Bruv, if this clock tower's gonna get people up off their asses, then we gotta do this plan, all right? I knew I could count on you. It will be wonderful to hear the bell once more. There is some security around the bell tower, but that shouldn't pose a problem. A bigger issue will be getting to the top. Ah, uh, the fuck do I do? A spider bot should do the trick.
Path up to the top of the tower is treacherous. All crawl spaces and gantries. More suited to six mechanical legs than two human ones. Ah, this is going to be good.
the bug, nibbling away on the rotting carcass of a once free Britain. Yum, yum. yum. Hello, bugs. This is a bug. I'm Andy. This is Alison. Today, we're going to be pretending that everything is fine. Yeah, and back. Yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? That was as long as I could manage. That's mm. a second and a half. A reality time now, however. And, uh, well, finally, today, we're going to road test the latest update to the CSA app, the government app that has brought the great British tradition of snitching on people you don't like back to the very heart of public life, the uh, school playground. I'm going to tell a new threat that's got a whole new lease of life these days, thanks to uh, CSA. And isn't Britain all the more fun because of it? No more grumbling about your neighbours playing their music too loud. Just simply report them to the state and have them, shall we say, involuntarily rehoused at Hotel Cass, the uh, chain of hotels that was formerly known as the prison service. What's the slogan, is it? If you see something, say something. Or if you think you might at some point see something, say something. Or if you haven't seen anything but don't like someone, say something anyway. Uh, so, well, let's have a look at this new app. Alice, I'm sure you've got it on, on, on your phone. I mean, at, at first glance, well, the interface is lovely. It's so neatly designed, a simple button to snitch on someone. That's so much better than non-government informer apps like Stool Easy, Can Can Canary or Narc Shark. I mean, look, I just need to geocache where the person I'm ratting on currently is. Let's call her for the sake of argument, Alice. Uh, sorry, uh, Andy, I was busy reporting you to the authorities what, for rolling I... your eyes when passing a Nigel Cass propaganda poster. C could you not let me report you first, please? <laughs> Let's have some decorum about this. Um, I'll just take a quick little photo so they can get a drone to pick you out of a crowd at your next riot or trip to the shops or <laughs> walk, walk in the woods. Uh, and you, you can input input your accusations uh, with the app. Well, let's go old school. Let's let's call the phone line. Uh, let's call the phone line. Here's the number, uh, listeners. In case you want to dob someone in, as long as it's not me. Zero zero four four two zero three eight zero seven three eight three two. And don't forget to get the permission of the person who pays your bills before you call that number. You have reached the voicemail of the Signals Intelligence Response Service. At the tone. Please leave the name and the address of the person you would like to report, and officers authorised for lethal force will respond. If you are reporting a loved one, please say goodbye to them now. Thank you. This call has been traced. Hey, I'd like to report my co-host Andrew, who runs an underground satirical anti-government comedy show, for running and co-hosting an underground satirical anti-government comedy show. Also, he does terrible puns. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, excuse me, I, I have a suspect for you. That is my co-host, uh, Alice. Uh, I have some evidence for you. She tutted audibly at the sight of an Albion vehicle in the street yesterday. She says she prefers pigeons to bloom drones. I mean, come on, seriously, when did a drone have a crap on your picnic? <laughs> and what's more, and look, I've no idea if this is true or not, but I have it on very good authority, so please write this down, that she owns not one, but two unlicensed fallopian tubes, whatever they are. <laughs> uh, but, but they sound dodgy. If I had a crypto for every time someone had reported my fallopian tubes, I'd have three... Sure, I think it converts to about 120,000 great British pounds at the old money. We'll report back in the next episode about whether or not we've been arrested and interned. Uh, I mean, I love this system, Alice. I mean, no more awkward rumbling resentments with your neighbours, your colleagues, or what the heck, in for a penny, your family. You just dob them in and be done with it. <laughs> but I guess it could backfire. I mean, the thing is with the family, inevitably parents and their children, they end up squabbling. And, uh, you know, in t today's Britain, your kids are going to dob you in, so you might as well get in there first and preemptively counter-dob them in to the authority. <laughs> What's that number again? Let's call them up again. Hey, I've got, I've got someone else. It's my son. Uh, let, let, let's call him Norris. Uh, uh, he never tidies his bedroom. He gets up late. He listens to illegal, non-government sanctioned music and is covertly plotting the downfall of the government and the restoration of a true democracy. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, just to define all your household chores as patriotic. And if they fail to do them, dob them in. <laughs> problem solved. If you don't do the washing up, do you even want a clean British ethno step? This is the bug on the buccaneer. The bug. Well, before we go today, Alice, let's delve into what we most miss about the old days. Uh, I'm going to kick off with uh, the flag. I never thought I'd miss the old Union Jack, but somehow our new flag managed to be even more irritating than that. I don't know quite what it is, if it's the, the new colour scheme or if it's just that it symbolises the loss of everything we once held dear. <laughs> but that flag irritates the hell out of me. D was everything you ever held dear Scotland? <laughs>
<laughs> well, that was something I held quite dear. <laughs> I miss being able to dodge my friends' destination weddings in Italy. There's nothing worse than being asked to spend the equivalent of a motorbike on some sort of boat-based farce in Sorrento. And I always used to really enjoy saying, oh, no, I can't afford it. Now they're all getting married in Brighton and I have to go to that alleged beach. <laughs> it's made of rocks, Andy. If your sandcastle is an actual castle, that's not a beach. Uh, tell you what I miss. I miss free will. That was fun. Remember that. I mean, was it an illusion all the time? Who cares? It felt fun. <laughs> I miss cash, particularly coins. I really miss coins. The fun of doing a heads or tails best of five to see if you had to go to the gym and then the best of seven, the best of nine, and uh, tell you what, that was, a, that was a long losing streak. Now with crypto, all the, all the romance has gone out of out of heads and tails. I miss romance, Andy. I miss there being mystery in life and not just a, a hope that your new partner isn't good enough at hacking to find out all the information the government has on you. Bye for now, bug fans. Keep feeding the kid in the resistance and one day it will grow into a Tyrannosaurus Rex that will use the Cass family as toothpicks. Metaphorically, of course. should do it. was moving. Truly. To hear the chimes again, to see that tower the way it's meant to be seen, means everything to the people of this borough. Ah, bless. Tell me though, why this clock tower? Why does this thing matter so much? It represents our parliamentary democracy. To have Albion deface it the way they did, it's clear what they were up to. Thank you, DedSec. Brilliantly done. Westminster will surely rise up against Albion after this. Hey, cheers, bruv. What's her deal, Max? Albion's been following her around like an amorous teenager who thinks that persistence is a replacement for personality. They're raiding all the locations in her recent GPS history. Sounds like a case for DedSec, yeah? Got it. I've tracked down an officer who was at the most recent raid. You can scrape their optic for intel. Ah, oh, sick. Good to have you, blood. That sex gonna be unstoppable now. Fuck yeah. Ready to help make a difference. Fuck yes. Is that a combat drone? Shit. London. This is 404, the first peer-to-peer -peer hacktivist network. All are welcome. If you want to make a difference, join us. We're taking down the elite, one contract at a time. Found that on the dark web. Looks like all the cool kids are forming hacker groups these days. But this 404 might actually come in handy in our fight. If all are welcome, that means we are too. I say we infiltrate 404, we get their connections, we get their assets. If you play nice, they might even help you take out Zero Day. For that matter, maybe they are Zero Day. Only one way to find out. 
I found Street View images of a CTOS hub that's been covered in 404 graffiti. They're marking their territory like an overexcited chihuahua. Dropping the location of the hub on your map. I hate putting Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. Then perhaps it's time to have a closer look at the elephant in the room. Nigel Cass, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local horde of thugs, Albion BMC. Cass certainly profited most from the bombings. We can inspire London to resist from now till forever, but it still won't break Albion's grip on the city. Not with Cass at the top. <laughs> Brilliant. Those mercs wouldn't be able to control the city without Cass. But we can't half ask this. I hope you have a good plan. Bagley's come across a possible gap in Cass's armor. An ex-insider, ex-friend with an axe to grind. He'd be an asset if we can find and convince him to work with us. Come to the safe house. We'll talk it through. DedSec, I got a call about a possible kidnapping. I'll send you the caller's info. Sounded like it was connected to something big. We have a real chance to seek justice here. Yeah, all right. I'll rally the comrades. Let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organization to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government. Led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. Wasn't fooled back then, and I'm still not now. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We found one. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the Niger Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic. Wicked. Got to put something good here. 
That looks brilliant. You look like a fighter without a cause. Am I reading you right? Do you happen to be in dead sec, dear? Because I have an offer you'll find interesting. This swatty, no good gangster had the gall to double cross me. Their comeuppance is due. That's not really what dead sec is about, mate. I'm not keen on bloodshed either. I actually happen to be a rather excellent car thief, retired. The last time we were lifting a limited run supercar, the job went tits up, and our fearless leader took off in the car and left us for dead. I crawled out of that mess by the skin of my teeth, and that bastard's enjoying the fruits of my labor. I want you to steal the car back. I never forget a favor. Help me, and I'll help you however I can. Oh, my adrenal glands are tingling. Our friend sent us the location of the car. Passing it on to you now. That's the CTOS up there. If you were listening to this, it means you want to learn more about 404. Know what we know. Do what we do. Make your way to the Walkie Talkie Club. It's no big secret that the club is a front for Clan Kelly, but the place has other secrets too. More will be revealed there. The hub just dumped a massive load of data into your optic. How forward. Bellagi has been snooping into Albion's affairs. Quietly, of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. Right, let's say hello. Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. Can you say paranoid? To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. Yep, yep. I believe the main interface is on the rooftop. I see some windows up there we can use to get in. Sure, if you can get there. Three options here. One, use the window washing platform. Two, find a cargo drone. Three, give up, go home, and resolve to be a better person. Will do. Yeah. <laughs> 
The man's got a proper setup here. How are we going to bypass it? You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. Will do. Welcome to Claire and Present Danger, and welcome to Fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Preyed on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash the hands to the whole mess. The collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change. Traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed. Done. 